President, the Chancellor of Germany. Hello. Hey, hey. Hello. Hey. 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 Wir sollten uns jetzt setzen. 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 Wir bei George Bush werden es dann viele sein. <lacht> und in Ron und in zehn Jahren braucht der Präsident gar nichts mehr zu machen. Da wird nur noch fotografiert. <lacht> Wie geht es? Aber es ist ein traumhaftes Wetter. Ich habe sie gestern Abend schon im Film gesehen. Ich habe gesprochen zur Geburtstagsrede gehalten für Simon Wiesenthal in New York. Und Sie waren vor ein paar Tagen in Los Angeles, als Sie dort waren. Und Sie haben diese Szene in einem Film und den Film haben Sie gestern Abend aufgeführt. Well, we brought this weather back from California with us, yeah, yeah, yeah. just for you. Yeah, yeah. very good. But it's very cold. Thanks for the But we had a short frost. We had yeah. frost already, early frost. Six, seven degrees Celsius. About six to seven degrees Celsius. Have you ever seen a better cold? Wir haben hier mal in einem Waldhaus eine Schätzung angestellt. Wie viele Fotografen in diesen acht Jahren hier waren? Haben Sie bereits eine Erfahrung, wie viele Fotografen hier zu dem Waldhaus sind? Nein, wir haben es nicht gezählt. Aber wir haben es schon gezählt. Es ist gewaltig. Es ist sehr beeindruckend. Es müssen tausend sein. Ich habe mich gefragt, was sie mit all diesen Fotografen machen. Ich habe mich gefragt, was sie mit all diesen Fotografen machen. Und ihr bekommt euer Archiv. Ich denke, sie alle gehen in die Archives. Und das ist heute, die 6. Jahre. Ja, 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 das war es. Das war es. Sechs Jahre ago. Genau vor sechs Jahren. Es waren sechs gute Jahre. Six very good years. Six very good years, which we enjoyed in close friendship and cooperation. And I think we did a good job together. I've said that when I rode with George Shultz in the car. A lot of friendship. And a lot of affection. 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 We can't say plans. This uh, we know he's coming, and uh, we're hopeful that uh, there'll be an opportunity for us to at least have a, a brief visit. What do you hope to get out of this? Meeting? Out of this meeting? No, out of meeting with Secretary Gorbachev. <laughs> well, as I say, that that isn't anything in the nature of a summit meeting. He's coming here to to address the United Nations. We'd hope that at least we can have a, just a brief get-together. Suppose he brings new proposals, as he did at Reykjavik. Mr. President, what will you do? Are you prepared to respond and negotiate? Well, it depends on whether you're going by the public version of Reykjavik or what actually happened there. Well, well Mr. President, are you at all concerned that uh, Mr. Gorbachev may use this to play for public opinion? Uh, perhaps to you know unveil some kind of new proposal in order to uh, to seize the initiative from the new American president on arms control. I have no way of speculating. Are you prepared to talk about start so Afghanistan, start Afghanistan mm. issues of this nature? Well, you just have to see what comes up. The vice president said he didn't need to get acquainted session with the general secretary. Was he wrong? No, because the vice president uh, has. Uh, 
been involved in the meetings of, that we've had in all the eight years we've we've been here, and he is uh, has met and is familiar with all of the national leaders that we've met with. And what's the purpose of the meeting? What's the purpose of it? Well, I think now in his present situation, it would be uh, proper for him to be present. Is this going to be just a cordial chat, Mr. Reagan? As I say, I have no way of knowing other than that. It, it just, I can only tell you it is not going to be a summit. Thank you. Did the General Secretary request the meeting, sir? <laughs> we only know he's coming to the United States. We will make ourselves available. And you see how I always refuse to answer questions. <laughs> I don't really know the, 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 what his schedule is. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think I've heard that he's going to come back. Because we later we will meet him later in the day. I already called him by telephone. Mm -hmm. ah. yeah. Is there another way, Mr. President, coming? No. Or? No. That's the last way. <laughs> chance and a little visit in the other room, but I think we've made important progress in the East-West relations, and our successes are the result of a patient unified approach to the Soviet Union. Important changes are clearly underway in the East, which we need to analyze correctly and where possible encourage, and this goes for the Soviet Union as well as many of the countries in Eastern Europe. And if we're to succeed in our policies, I think it's essential to maintain a common Western line on security and arms control matters. We also cannot lower our fo focus on human rights. I met just yesterday with uh, Sakharov and, uh, on this subject. I think it deserves priority attention East-West economic relations should similarly be based on long-standing principles. And we support an expansion of non-strategic trade with the East as long as that trade and the credits are provided on a commercial basis. And I think we must also keep tight control on sensitive technology. And we're prepared to work with you to 
strengthen or streamline, I should say, the COCOM list, but we ask for far more attractive German enforcement. But I know you must have some things you'd like to touch on also, and I'll pause right here.
Start the meeting after they begin serving just to get some food on the You make people more comfortable, more patient, more cooperative. But you know, there's a little story that I've heard that I think would fit either one of our countries. This was a man who was late to work. And his employer said to him, what did they say to you? <laughs> friend of the United States. His views are greatly valued and his commitment to personal efforts to strengthen German-American ties have made an enormous difference in the relationship between the United States and West Germany. Today we reviewed a broad range of important international issues, control in ending regional conflicts and with respect to human rights. We also noted that the Vienna Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe, which is entering its final stage, required a balanced and substantive outcome. In stability at lower levels of armaments, the United States and West Germany, together with our allies, will ensure that our conventional and nuclear forces are kept up to date. We also agreed that for the foreseeable future, there is no viable alternative must be avoided and reiterated our support for an amicable resolution of the U.S. and the European community trade issues and for real progress during the midterm review of the Uruguayans. And let me just add a final personal word to you for your friendship and counsel. Thank you, Helmut, and may God bless you and may God bless our two great nations. Herr Präsident, Exzellenzen, meine Damen von Amerika und der Bundesrepublik Deutschland ist von existenzieller Bedeutung für unser Land. Das war so und das wird auch in Zukunft so bleiben. Es war die Idee der Freiheit, die uns zusammengeführt hat. Unsere Begegnungen waren stets Und ich danke Ihnen sehr herzlich und sehr persönlich für diese Offenheit. Und ich möchte Ihnen von all meinem Herzen, von all meinem Herzen, 
uh, for what is, what is and US I should like to mention the agreement and the commitment which we have made to exchange young people, uh, students, uh, but also other Thank you. 